Hi there. Welcome back to another quick and easy watercolor painting. Today we're going to be working very loose, very quick, and uh, I have a, I sort of have an idea of what it is that I want to do, but um, I'm going to let the I'm going to let the paint and the paper sort of tell me, you know, what the real plan is here, and I'm uh, just going to keep working. You know, very quick, very loose, very intuitively. And I'm picking up some, picking up some uh, paints gray here, and I'm just sort of touching it onto the page, and again, letting, you know, letting the the letting the artwork sort of emerge without without really too much of a plan, just putting the color in. And letting the letting the page tell me what it is that it wants, and when you work intuitively like this, it, you know I would say very few, very few if any of the paintings turn out. You know this might be, I'm gonna say today this is probably the third or maybe in the fourth one that I've done and. I haven't had any turnout yet, but that's okay. I'm, not, I'm like I said, it's very intuitive, and I'm just sort of letting, you know, letting the the page, the the painting, tell me what it is that it wants. And you can see, I'm not really. I'm just letting the information sort of flow out of me and onto the page, and seeing what we get. And we got some pretty cool stuff going on there. That's all right. And, uh, you know, the page has started to dry up a little bit across there. And I don't think I want it to dry up. So I'm going to touch this. I'm going to touch this wet brush onto there and you know, see what develops. And so what I'm going to do right now is I have my number one round watercolor brush. And, you know, those of you that have seen me before know I have a, I like using this. I like you know, creating some scribe marks into this and just seeing, you know, how those can take off and become trees or bushes or, you know, whatever the case may be. Like I'm going to go back to this three quarter inch brush and I'm going to pick up a whole bunch of Payne's Gray just right out of the palette. And I'm going to just put it Put it in here in a few places, tap it onto the page. And I think that's it. We're just going to, we're going to let this sit and see what it turns into. Might pull out of a few of these dark spots and I'm just sort of having fun. I'm just allowing, allowing myself to have a little bit of fun with the with the artwork and that's you know if you can have fun with your artwork that's a big part of it's a big part of art for me i think I, I think honestly you know the universe is telling me you need some blue and i'm going to just touch a few places like this with a little bit of blue And that's it. Let's let it sit and see what we get. All right, let's check this out. There's some very cool things going on here. I'm glad I added this blue at the end because it really gives a good complement to this sort of red sienna that's in here. But look at what's happened here, how it sort of alludes to different trees and these scribe marks have made. Really interesting connections to the ground but look at what happens when you put the mat on it you know like just dropping the mat on it uh, it just changes it so much I think probably something like that's probably the best but yeah I mean it's just I'm always amazed that you know just putting a mat on there anyways I'd love to hear from you let me know what you think about this in the comment section I'd love to know where you're from 
I hope you have an awesome day painting. Give this a try. Let me know how it turns out for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.